Look at me. I'm a crab. I'm a crab. Doing crab things. Walking, walking, pinching, pinching. The goldfish is abused once again in a small aquarium with crappy decorations. Why? <laughs> what is going on YouTube? It is Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. This is going to be another video where I react to some things on Reddit. Let's go ahead and get started. First post that we have here says, first of all, it's a parrot. Second of all, tank is too small. Third of all, he's attacking the cat, not kissing. Let's check it out. Oh, what is this? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> that bite didn't look so bad. It seems like the cat is enjoying it though. All right, so this one here, it says, those do not look healthy. Craigslist post. Yikes. Grandma's fancy goldfish tank. The goldfish is abused once again in a small aquarium with crappy decorations. And that's exactly what we have here. Wow, Amazon. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty shitty of you, Amazon. How could you? Start a kid. $80 on Etsy. This makes my heart hurt. Okay, yeah, you're definitely gonna need a bigger bowl and a bigger aquarium. Shitty work tank. Poor beta. I mean, that's not too bad for a beta. At least it's not in a bowl. Local Craigslist. You never disappoint. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Now we can't be having that. That low water level. Oh no. Guys, please. If your water level is ever this low, you're going towards the direction of being a bad fish peeper. Make sure that water level stays on top. Unless you got some fish that are a little jumpy, lower the water level just a little bit lower than you should, or just get some really tight lids. I mean, you, there's no reason for the water level to be that low, unless you're just really lazy. Little known fact, a light bulb is actually a great home for nine guppies. Yeah. I don't think those guppies are going to be doing well in that little light bulb. I think they prefer to be in a 10 gallon tank with some filtration, a heater, maybe some plants. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I definitely don't want to be keeping guppies in a light bulb. Uh, they will shit themselves to death, meaning that they are going to poop in that light bulb until the ammonia gets too high and they die. Hey, that rhymed. Why? Why? <laughs> um, actually, I think this is from that video that Monster Mike did. He actually did this video where he caught a, a largemouth bass with this tiny rod and he threw that largemouth bass in this tiny 10 gallon, 5 gallon tank just for a few seconds, just for like shits and giggles, but then he eventually released it back. So. It's not that bad guy. I mean, the fish was probably uncomfortable for a few seconds, but I don't think any real damage or harm was done to the fish because he did release it right away, right afterwards after he got the shot. So for all the people complaining about this, please don't. The fish is okay. This one here says, should I be scared? I think they are plotting against me. Ooh, bamboo shrimp just enjoying themselves and some wood and some sand. I really love these shrimp. I just don't understand the title of this. Are they plotting against you? Are you saying that because they're all grouped up like that? Because uh, shrimps always group up like that. I don't know if you've noticed that or not, but that's just something that they do. Uh, my shrimp, they do that. But cool picture. I'm really digging the sand and the decorations back there. Pretty cool. Been about eight weeks sitting on the ground, but she's up. Let's check it out. Ooh, nice. How many gallons is that? Let's just take a look in the comments. Let's see here. So it's eight by three by two for 360 gallons. It looks like they're gonna have a golden red tail arowana ready to move into it pretty soon. So this is pretty much a king of DIY fish tank. And he's gonna be having some stingrays and arowanas in there. That's the vibe that I'm getting from it. Is a king of DIY vibe for sure. It looks great. He probably followed a king. He probably followed a king of DIY tutorial to build that too. I just can't wait till they finish it and finalize it so you can see how it actually looks like with live stockings in there. One year update. Survive they move and BGA outbreak. Nice. So for BGA, I'm going to assume black something algae, bearded grass algae outbreak. That's what it was. I know with planet tanks like this, battling algae is one of the biggest battles and one of the biggest issues. Um, even with CO2 and all that stuff, if you don't have all of that synchronized properly and everything the way it should be, you're going to be battling algae. I've battled algae a few times before and it's tough. And 
I hated it. I hate when algae just overgrows and takes over your tank. It's not pleasing. It makes it hard to look at your aquarium and enjoy it to the fullest. I really like the decorations and what he did here, or she. It's very simple, but yet yeah, very eye candy. To me at least, it's very pleasing to the eye. Just a few simple rocks and some plants right here. I'm not sure what kind of carpeting plant this is. It's definitely not dwarf hair grass. I think this might be Monte Carlo. I'll let you guys down in the comment section down below. Tell me what this is or let me know if I was correct. I'd really appreciate it. This one here says, what kind of pleco is this hitchhiker? Let's go ahead and check this out. I wouldn't be able to tell you what kind of pleco this is, but what is up with this photo? It's just very blurry. It doesn't even look like this pleco is in water why do you have this pleco out of water and why did you take the picture like this looks like some sort of exotic pleco it's definitely not the common pleco that's for sure it has a red tail and it has some red and some leopard pattern to it looks really neat i'll let the experts that are viewing this video right now leave a comment down below to explain what this is if i got a hitchhiker like that i'd be happy that's a f that's a free fish for me free fish equals happy me this one here says trying to photograph my new rams photo bombed by pleco bro yup that's definitely a photo bomb i can't tell you how many times i try to record and take pictures of my fish and then you have these other fish who are just camera hogs especially angel fish and they just get in the way and they're just like uh the real star is over here you need to take a picture of me this one here says hatched from an egg they grow up so fast snails gotta love snails i have a bunch of them in my 29 gallon tank with the tadpoles and they reproduce like crazy like oh my god you won't believe how fast they reproduce and how fast they grow up throw some food in there throw some algae throw some duckweed in there or some plants whatever you throw in there they're going to eat it snails eat pretty much anything and they will grow and they will populate your tank for you at the speed of light this one here says little shark boy this one here says i don't know what's going on here but i had to fix it let's go ahead and check this out before after yeah there was definitely something wrong here before and this looks so much better i've never had to build my own tank so i'm just grateful that i've never had to deal with something like this i'm pretty sure it's frustrating especially if it's your first time but maybe you've done this a few times maybe you're an expert in this field so maybe it's not as painful as it look but i just know that doing something like this would be extraordinarily painful for me and frustrating and i would have to spend endless amount of time just trying to perfect it but kudos to you sir for getting this fixed i'm pretty sure you're going to be using this to feed your big exotic fish in there and i think this is the same diy tank that i showed earlier into the video where the guy is going to be putting a arowana in there and a few stingrays so this is turning out to look pretty cool this one here says comfy af let's check this out <laughs> Yeah, that bicher, he's made himself at home on top of this crypt right here. What kind of bicher is that? My bicher doesn't look like that. But this one seems like it's a lot smaller. Um, I had no idea that they were not plant eaters. Now I'm thinking maybe I should re-aquascape my tank with the bicher in it and maybe just put in a few plants in there for him to enjoy. I'm pretty sure he would, my, I'm pretty sure my bicher would enjoy some plants as well. Maybe like some Amazon swords, maybe some crypts, maybe some moss, uh, maybe some uh, maybe some Anubius. This one here says, looks like an old man. Let's check it out. Yep, that goldfish, it definitely looks like my grandpa. My red terror babies. Oh, so cute, so cute little babies. They're not as pretty as baby angelfish though. Don't get it twisted. Dragonfish and ADF. Yo, that is such a cool looking fish. I want one of those. How is that thing not going to eat that frog? And bro, what is up with your water quality? Did you just do, I'm hoping you just did a water change and that's why it's so cloudy. Crab brulee, having a little snack. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Let's go ahead and check this out. Look at me, I'm a crab. I'm a crab, doing crab things. 
Walking, walking, pinching, pinching. What's he snagging on though? Probably just some flakes. That's an interesting animal there. Potato quality. But what kind of catfish are these, fellas? Those look like upside down catfish. Uh, let me see if I'm right. Someone here says feather fin squeaker would be my guess. They get to six to eight inches and have very long lives, up to 25 years, perhaps even more. Feather fin syndontis. Okay. Um, maybe I was wrong, so disregard what I just said. This one here says, Our local fish store just finished this gorgeous new display tank. Let's go ahead and check it out. Whoa, okay, that must have taken a lot of time to perfect. I can only imagine all the hard work and effort that went into making this. I know I couldn't do this, and I'm pretty sure a lot of the aquascapers on YouTube that have a lot of high subscribers couldn't do this, but that wood, that plant, that substrate, that little decoration in the left corner right there is absolutely stunning and amazing. And to top it all off, we have a beautiful painting up here of some saltwater fish. Although you should replace that with a painting of some freshwater fish and this would look complete. And then it looks like we got some danios in there and uh, why no guppies? Why no other fancier fish in there? But I guess danios could work. Um, maybe they're cycling the tank. You could use danios to cycle a fish tank. They're pretty hardy fish. But nonetheless, everything in there just looks spectacular. I love it. It's beautiful. I think one day... I'm hoping one day I can have a tank like this. I know I say that a lot. The more I put that out there, the more it's going to come back and turn into reality. That's the law of attraction, guys.